We are here in Central Park, one and only Lincoln Jesser. How you doing today? Namaste, brother. I'm great. It is such an honor to have you. You are such a unique artist. You incorporate so many amazing and different things into your live performances. Your lifestyle is truly admirable. Would love to have our fans, our community, understand more how you got into this, how you started incorporating it into live performances, and how you started building such an amazing community. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for having me. We Belong Here has just been an incredible vibe. People going to the festival tell me how excited they are are about being here and it just feels so good like to have that energy leading into it. I've been making music my entire life. I've been writing songs since I was 12 years old. I always kind of intuitively had this feeling that music was magic. It yeah. would change the entire feeling of a room and make serious adults act like different from their normal selves and in yep. a way that was like better in my opinion. They became lighter. They let go of things that didn't serve them and you could just feel like time became more present. Growing up in the desert in the Coachella Valley, there wasn't that much to do outside of like get into music and jam with my friends and be in bands. And it was a beautiful way that we like built a community back then. As I moved out to LA in my uh, late teens and 20s, I got into the music industry, electronic music. I've been in the house world for basically that whole time, going to raves and right. festivals and making my own music. And house music was always deeply healing for me. I also got more and more into mindfulness, into yoga, into meditation. We are our awareness. Right. And you are what you think. You are what you feel. I realized that it all came down to vibration. Right. And that these ancient traditions were talking about it the whole time. The two worlds fused together for me two or three years ago. You know, for a while I had this internal struggle of like, I'm a house music DJ who also meditates and does mindfulness. And I had this awakening moment and I was like, I am both of those right, things right, equally right, and together. Right. Started the practice of letting my walls drop and showing my authentic, vulnerable self. Just posting about what I'm genuinely passionate about. Right. Not so concerned about the feedback I yep. would get yep. or the metrics. Yep. Um, and just wanting to share that light that has helped me heal in a lot of ways in my own life with other people. I studied sound healing and chanting and humming, vibration. I would share that with my friends and family. Yeah. And like when people were stressed out, it would help them feel better. And Yep. release things you know people started asking me in in venice where i'm where i live like in my community to do sound baths and healing events people that had been asking me to dj before yeah as i got into the power of mantras which are basically just vibrational codes in my opinion that allow you to access this higher realm i could experiment with putting that into dance music no one was really that i saw was doing it in the way that i felt like was a unique authentic embodiment of my creative right. expression right struck a chord right you know right. pun intended yes. struck a chord yes been so moved and honored and humbled by the impact that people have told me that it has on them yeah. and I really feel that like the Healing House community, we're co-creating it. Yeah. I'm on the journey too. I don't know everything and I yeah. would never claim to. It's yeah. about acknowledging the fact that you don't know everything. Yeah and learning to enjoy that ride. And that's yep. why I say, you know, join me on the on the journey because yep. it's a journey. It's yep. not about the destination. Yep. And it's just been such a blessing. It's been so beautiful and I'm just so grateful. Totally agree with, it's so crazy. Everything you say not only resonates with me personally, but I think also resonates with We Belong Here and, and our team behind We Belong Here. Like, you know, a lot of the, the core values and what we believe in, what we try to, you know, create in our experiences and in our events. Just going back to like, you know, you first taking that dive to merge, you know, the the meditating with your music, like it's ballsy. A lot of artists, you know, are afraid to do something that unique and put themselves out there like that. You're truly like cultivating a community and really making an impact beyond just like your music itself. So it's truly amazing, truly impressive. We're so excited for you to take the stage. You were saying something earlier, the new now. I think it's so powerful. What does that really mean? The new now is we believe in our physical body that we live in a 3D world, you know, time and space, and we're on a straight line, and the past is in the past, and the future is, is in front of us. Right. But what ancient traditions, they all actually say the same thing, which is that we're not 3D, we're actually space time, it's a, it's a construct of our limited mind. Right. And that mind is formed from this higher energy of consciousness, God, the right. quantum field, right. whatever you want to call it. It's all actually the same thing. Through our subconscious hold on to stories that we've told ourselves about what we are, what our yeah. story is, our limitations are, what we need to be happy. Yeah. And it turns yeah. out, yeah. you know, there's really not that much 
you actually need to be happy. Happiness is a choice that you make in yep. each moment. Yep. Joy is a feeling that you unlock naturally when you get out of your own way and allow yourself to yeah. surrender to that yeah. now. Notice the stories you're telling within your mind. Sit and realize it's a miracle that we're here. Yeah. If you could have dinner with any musician dead or alive, who would it be? That's a really good question. The first person that comes to my mind is John Lennon. You know, I've given props to the fact that his song Imagine is tuned 528 hertz, which is, yeah. you know, wow. so hot. my know, song is tuned know 528 hertz. Yeah. And All right, well, to we, that. we gotta get you to stage. Lincoln, thank you so much. Very excited for it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Peace.